We all know what happens when you drop solid sodium in liquid water, but no one's ever tried dropping solid water in liquid sodium. Okay, first let's melt down our huge chunk of sodium. There we go. So I didn't know what to expect if I melted down some sodium into its liquid form and then dropped a chunk of solid ice in it. Now I know the same reaction should happen, but I should expect it to be a little bit different. When you drop sodium in water, the sodium is the limiting reactant. But when you drop water in sodium, now the water is the limiting reactant. So should that matter? Let's see what real life has to say about that. Ooh, there it goes. Okay, we got our molten sodium now. The shiny surface of the molten sodium quickly oxidizes in the outside air. Okay, here's my solid chunk of water in liquid sodium. Three, two, one. Oh! Wow. <laughs> it was completely unexpected how fast this actually reacted. The instant the ice hit the sodium, it reacted and exploded. And then a shower of molten sodium rained from the sky for a little bit afterwards. I was filming at 240 frames per second here, so that means within 1 240th of a second, the ice already reacted and exploded. It actually didn't even all react. You can see the ice get ejected and land in the background here. So that was crazy. I definitely didn't expect that explosion to happen. Usually when you put solid sodium in water, there's a short amount of time where the sodium floats on top of the water. It's usually on fire and then at some time after some suspenseful moments, it could be a few milliseconds or tens of seconds, but eventually it usually undergoes a coulomb explosion where it just all explodes at once. This is where the ions that are being formed repel each other suddenly and then explode outward. The fire comes from the hydrogen being created, but usually the actual explosion is this electric repulsion. So in the case with the ice, I didn't really expect it to One. explode as oh. instantly as it did. Especially because in a smaller scale experiment, I dripped drops of water on liquid sodium and it just fizzled on top. There wasn't some big explosion, but with the larger scale, that's definitely not what happened. I'm not sure exactly what the mechanism was here, but it sure looked like a Coulomb explosion but there was also some fire involved from the instant it dropped in there. So maybe it was from the hydrogen burning as well. And also the sodium in this case wasn't that hot. It was just above its melting point, right around 100 degrees Celsius. But as soon as the ice hit the sodium, it was instantly gone in a fireball that threw the liquid sodium into the air. So whatever you do, don't drop sodium in water or ice in liquid sodium. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.